Hello guys, this is my studio. How was your day doing? I hope you're all having an awesome week because today I'm going to yeah, show you my 2nd of April uh, unboxing because this video was recorded earlier during my receipt. I was a pre-order yeah, uh, on November 23, I think, 23rd of November. So I paid around $680 because I yeah got $50 discount coupon from someone. Right? I can't remember who I used. And of course, the other fee about $30. So this alone he said actually was $699. So today I'm going to do my unboxing of my third virtual reality headset alright this will be my very yeah yeah third uh, so called 2.0 because they call it this uh, Pimax as a 2.0 due to do, do they have a large few of you up to 170 degree of diagonal alright that's really close to our human vision we having right now and also this 5k having the LCD display and also you want having the black level even much more better then you have to choose the OLED version which is the 8K or the 5K XR right also used to know as BE Business Edition and yes because I want to save this $200 then well I choose this 5K plus because I'm not a backer if I'm backer definitely I'll choose 8K for sure right so whatever so in this video you will see that the boxes it came with perfectly yeah fit into this uh headset into the boxes and also the cable inside you will see this little white uh thingy uh definitely prevent of getting uh water done to it all right i'm not sure what's that actually usually it came inside the shoe box right and next thing you will see that also there's a cable box uh underneath you have this menu and also the clean cloth for the yeah lenses right next thing i straight away take off this headset and then use my hand to wait to see how heavy is this headset actually i'm very surprised that the headset actually is not as heavy as the HTC Vive which is the first generation of the yeah headset from HTC and yes i'm so impressed that this headset actually yeah it look so awesome and beautiful Next thing I realized that the lenses actually is very big but not as big as our eyes definitely for sure I think I mean the few of you right the few of you don't get me wrong of course I don't hate this headset don't hate the lenses I really impressed how they made this far to try to bring virtual reality yeah into the mainstream but well it won't be anytime soon but I hope very soon right because virtual reality is involved every single day right now right so yes the headset actually is felt very fragile even the plastic itself is the version 2 also known as p2 which i'm receiving right now and i believe yes this the material is slightly even better but still can be broke after using for yeah for a while not sure when but so far i use around one week plus still okay but i'm very afraid sometimes i'm playing the virtual reality game i use my controller and accidentally hit into this headset right so i'm very afraid maybe it will break one day i hope this won't happen to anyone even myself especially you have a small room like me so you have to be very careful every single time when you play of course accident will always happen in yeah sometime that you will never even know it will happen so that's the only way to avoid is yeah just don't overhype when you bring some of the virtual reality game also when come to installation but before that you have to read the this little small booklet uh, step by step all right make sure everything you have and yeah make sure your pc also is the vr ready at least have uh, 1070 or 1080 my highly recommendation is GTX 1080 for better performance because I believe even myself running 2080 which is the RTA version still not enough and also yeah for the installation guide just read them all and do it yeah as close as possible don't miss out anything and when it come to unsure part alright make sure jump to the forum alright and have a look because there's a lot of things that which uncovered in this little small booklet so it's a bit of confusing when come to the installation especially you have these uh, lighthouses and the 
Vive controller, you want to have the six stuff, so you want to make sure everything is yeah connected properly, so it will work very smooth. And also, good things in this headset actually they have these two little uh, USB Type C port, which one allow you to attach the cooling fan, which will be on top near the uh, form, alright, which is the headset strap when you will put in, which is not quite visible unless you really go yeah see of course definitely for sure and one more will be at the bottom of your headset which is near the serial code all right and this little bottom um usb type c allow to allow you to insert this uh, motion hand tracking which will be released later on from the pimax itself i believe it will cost around 150 dollar or more so for those who are backer you they will get it yeah, slightly, I think $100 bucks with uh, if you are uh, a backer on 8k, if you downgrade to 5k plus, you'll get $100 coupon, which is you can use the coupon to exchange for this hand motion tracking, alright, which is not a bad deal, but for pre order, we don't get anything promotion. I hope we do because, yeah, this is something we also support them since the before they start selling also. Right next thing I would like to talk about this uh heat strap which will came in the box alright of course everyone will get it if you order Pimax definitely for sure even you are backer so of course uh Pimax have a backer scrap go which is they will give us a deluxe audio strap of theirs alright not the HTC Vive version of course if you have the HTC Vive uh, sorry HTC Vive version definitely you will fit it very well because you can go buy a mod which you can find in the yeah, forum or you can use this uh, little cable tie to yeah to make it secure but definitely it will came off anytime when you play playing later I will show you because I have this uh, HTC Vive uh, Deluxe Audio Strike which I bought it from uh, Amazon around $120 bucks alright since I can't order in my country because I believe it's out of stock that's why that's the only way alright let's speak about the comfort between this normal strap and this deluxe audio strap from HTC which one is better right my personal preference I would say definitely you will go for the deluxe audio strap because of this adjustment of the tension you can simply adjust right and even have a awesome audio right this audio actually is even much more better than the EKG Samsung Odyssey Plus audio right because the price you pay for this premium amount of the audio definitely it will come with a much more awesome audio the sound of the bass the sound of the quality is actually much more premium and classic all right definitely is one of the best audio tracks so far I yeah own and have on my yeah virtual reality headset all right guys when it come to installation make sure you have the latest pi 2 installation in your computer make sure your nvidia driver and amd driver which available you using are up to date also when plugging your headset to this pi 2 software everything to your computer make sure the firmware is update all right if not that means probably there will be some problem once your firmware is updating, everything is good to go. Let me process do by itself. After once it's done, go to the status, and then slowly yeah look for your room environment setup, which is small or big depends your uh play space. And yeah, before that we know that you have to connect your lighthouses and your motion control to this Pi Two as well, because the Steam VR and the Pi Two is really yeah different application. They have their own software to make the these headsets to start. Up. That's why require yeah two of the different this little startup. Alright, next thing I would like to do a little small comparison when it come to the size. Alright, here is the Video Mix Reality headset and yeah the Samsung Audio C Plus, and also would like to compare with this original. HTC Vive is reused nearly 3 years or already 3 years and look at the lenses just like a binoculars really yeah, small so when when first time I jumped into the HTC Vive I really realized that this headset uh, yeah, is really heavy and not that good when it comes to the yeah, the clarity because of the screen door effect and of course uh, the this 
distortion is not that a lot so of course heavy really bring me headaches really have to get uh, the this deluxe audio strike which i get it this year i don't really get it after the release because yeah cost not that cheap right nearly 120 bucks definitely quite expensive and of course when come to the size from the left edge to the right edge uh, Pimax definitely look much more because because thanks to the large field of view definitely require a bigger panel and also I use my yeah the HTC Vive uh, Deluxe Audio Strike and yeah fit into this Pimax definitely you have to use cable tie if you doesn't have this uh, DAS mode which is the Deluxe Audio Strike mode which you can get it from the uh, Pimax 8, uh, 8K volume because there's someone yeah have this little blueprint model i believe you can simply print out using the 3d printer and then you you can fit it to it since i don't have it i don't want to waste money i just spend yeah few bucks to get this cable tie and it really actually fit very well all right as you can see the lenses actually the clarity is very good just to have one big problem all right right now as you can see a little uh, pixels all right which is the flickering pieces or sparking pieces as they call it it's a bad uh, problem for the cable so i would like to show you in this scene so at first i thought this was a little twinkle twinkle little star right uh was shown in the pi home actually after using a wall when you have installation this steam vr and really start using and play some game and you realize this little picture still floating around everywhere and yeah it's really bothering me and yeah disturbing so i really contact pimax and most of them says their cable issue it can be fixed by replace this brand new cable which they will send out to all of us who are having this kind of issue I know thanks to Pimax but please send me one as soon as possible what I ask them is when will I receive this cable no answer at all so they will just say that our cable is currently ran out of stock so we will send out to you once we have the stock as soon as possible so please uh, someone out there yeah please contact them because I want to further test this headset I really love this headset I want to do more video by using this headset to yeah play some of the immersion, uh, sorry, immersive game just like the Fallout 4 VR just like Skyrim VR which yeah really actually make the impression and the immersive much more even better when it come to playing this style of AAA game alright how about clarity and the SDE and distortion alright I would like to speak about this because I will put the sparking uh, pixel aside right now since uh, clarity in the Pimax 5K plus actually yeah i'm so impressed the everything color in make up turn out make triple a game even much more breathable even much more fun color actually still acceptable especially the black level i would say even much more better than the samsung odyssey plus when come to the quality of the sde i would say that this no anti sd you still get better clarity because thanks to this uh, anti SDE you will see a little blurry when come to play some of the games out there I'm not sure why sometimes it quite bothers me when I'm using the Samsung Odyssey Plus but after a while using it in this Pimax 5K Plus I will say that wow the clarity is so much impressive alright and also when come to distortion from the right side and the left side the very edge side you will see a little distortion but sometimes it doesn't really bother me but sometimes it does so uh, can it be fixed I believe yes unless you're using the much more thicker uh, form it will be avoidable as my yeah, personal thinking right next I will do more through the lens video for you guys on my Pimax 5k plus as you can see this are uh, Apollo 11 HDVR yeah the color actually is not that bad just like look at the green color look at the gray color still have the color that we used to it in our samsung auto c plus or the htc5 just that the black level yeah a little grayish all right i will say a little grayish but it's not really uh a problem for me in this game i mean at this experience so i will say yeah still acceptable and you still can see the letters are uh, yeah which is in the green section you still can see quite clearly especially if you're wearing this headset of course i'm using s10 to record it i'm not sure i did it wrongly or what 
but probably yeah if you know how to record a video much more clearly please let me know with the phone device i have because i'm not a pro when it comes to yeah doing this thing but i will really yeah find a way to make it even better for you guys right next we'd like to show you through the lens in big screen because many of us love to watch movies so of course here's a small example in the lobby as you can read this little white text at this uh, white border uh, big screen lobby welcome the text is so clear as compared to HTC Vive and the Audio C Plus I can say that this really yeah, made me so hyped because usually we love to reach uh, from one distance to another distance just to make things easy so that we can know what thing happen next so of course when come to movie analysis here is another example when in the John Wick video the color actually looks so awesome but most disappointing when in this LCD display is the each side of each side as you can see yeah there's still a little grease because uh, thanks to this Pimax uh, latest Pi 2 update we have this contrast and the brightness adjustment of the slider it makes things even much more better but there's still a lot of room improvement for this as well I believe right so yeah for now, which is even much more better thanks to this Pi 2, if not, yeah, I think we'll get even worse. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Before I end this video, I'd like to give you my impression to work, uh, how I feel after nearly 2 years of using. I would say this headset is definitely a blow away for most of the game that you want to experience. Because this is not just like the HTC Vive of the binoculars lenses, this is yeah, close to our human vision which is 170 degree of dying diagonal so i would say this is definitely a goal for most who are vr enthusiasts or the fans of vrs of course you are new to vr worlds definitely this is not a choice headset for you because it requires a powerful gpu up to at least yeah gts 1070 or 80 all right definitely 1080 will be a stable for most of you because yeah this definitely require more rendering so i would say yeah definitely a skip for most who don't have a good PC out there so you want to see my PC spec I will leave it in this video below of course definitely more video of gameplay will coming like say and I hope you enjoy this video and more review of this will coming in next few weeks I believe so yeah cheers and see you very soon goodbye my sister out for now peace